Hello, here's the more the enemy, the more the honor. I'm doing an online battle commentar commentary on my own tournament. So this is the 8th final, the 5th match, and um, Avenging Angel is playing against Mafioso 1980. If you are wondering why I'm doing this commentary in English, uh, Avenging Angel, who is a Scotsman himself, he asked me to do this in English because he has asked me since ages to do an English commentary, so I'm just going to do him this favor because I want to do one myself. And yeah, now we will start with the battle. Uh, so you see they are um, opposing themselves on the card rice fields. And this is just the classical tournament map. Very flat and very, very fair. And so we will soon see the armies. Let's just wait for that. Dun -dun -dun. Let's just wait for them. So here you see Avenging Angel's build. He has took uh, he has took the Chozukabe, and you see he has five units of Katana Samurai or Nodachi Samurai. Then he has two Chozukabe Bow Warrior Monks, or yeah, two two. It should be that. And then he has um, two units of Matchlock Ashigaru, and. Yeah, he has four units of Yari Ashigaru and one Naginata mo uh, Warrior Monk. So that's um, quite a good build. And uh, his cav is uh, three units of Katana Cavalry and one unit of Great Guard. And here you see Mafioso's army. He has two units of Yari Ashigaru spread out in loose formation in front of his army. And at the flanks, he has a further unit of Yari Ashigaru. Then he has two units, no, four units of Matchlock Ashigaru, two units of Bow Samurai, and five units of Katana Samurai. And yeah, that's pretty much his build. Now let's look at Oda Nobunaga, his historical general, who costs uh, really much. And hmm, yeah, there you see him. And if you're wondering, I am fluent in English because I, w I w visited an English primary school, but um, after seven years of no, le or more, more than seven, yes, yeah, sort of seven years after I, n after I didn't have one single good English lesson, yeah, my English has pretty much deteriorated, and now I speak like a fucking Jerry. True story. I'm sorry. <laughs> so here you see, um, Avenging Angel did the right thing. He was searching for uh, the hidden units of um, Mafioso, and he found them. So there go his two Yari Cav but they are much faster than any other calf, so they make it out without uh, losses. Um, and here, uh, Mafioso sends out his Yariyashi Garo, menacing his, um, his cav cavalry, so no problem uh, for him, and let's hope the battle starts soon, because the sixth battle of the eighth finals, um, I know I recorded this before the fifth battle, I'm sorry, but uh, the sixth battle. Uh, some people were complaining about it because they thought it to be a bit. Um, uh, the, one of the players was sort of um, camping in the forest, so uh, there were some people complaining, and I was wondering. And <laughs> yeah, so Avenging Angel, he is moving his bow warrior monks, but what really wasn't necessary because Mafioso is just running towards him and he shouldn't have moved uh, his bow warrior monks uh, in front and now he's choosing the wrong targets he's firing at those Yaria Shigaru in loose formation which is probably the worst idea uh, worst idea he can have in this moment but uh, you, in the course of this battle you will see, you will see quite a many um, micromanagement mistakes so now um, he's attacking with his uh, Katana Samurai and his Nodachi Samurai but um, as I said micromanagement mistakes he forgets to activate the Banzai mode on his, um, on his uh, uh, Nodachi Samurai. Here he attacks uh, the Yari Cav of Mafioso, who doesn't react with his um, Great Guard. A good idea because Great Guard completely pins Yari Cav. And here he attacks Oda Oden Nobunaga. And this is also a further good idea. And um, the, the player, Mafioso, he should have watched out because Oda Nobunaga is essential. To this army because he has taken with so many um, Ashigaru units who are just peasants they need good leadership and if your Oda Nobunaga dies now um, they will receive quite a serious drop so um, 
that wasn't a good idea. He should have watched out what happens with Oda Nobunaga. And yeah, you see uh, the the attack of um, Avenging Angel was fended off. Um, his katana, uh, katana samurai and daichi samurai, they uh, routed off the battlefield because there were so many match like Ashigaru behind the, their own ranks uh, shooting at them. And that's why his katana samurai just uh, flew. And yeah, this, uh, this will make the battle much more difficult for him, but it doesn't mean that the battle is over because he has a lot of Yari Ashigaru who still, uh, who still remain. And as you may know, he still has some uh, bow warrior monks, but he is targeting the wrong unit, so that's why they're just running all over the place without attacking anywhere. And as you see back there, the, the cavalry of Mr. Uh, Mafioso has survived, and that was quite surprising, but it did. And here, um, Avenging Indian's general uh, just smashed it into those Matchlock Ashigaru, sends them wavering. Good idea, but I think he'll die soon. That was a less good idea. And as you see, the Yari Cap has survived, and I was wondering because there were three Katana Cavalry units and one Great Guard unit opposing them, and that should have worked much, much faster. So that was strange. Um, here you see uh, two ma Matchlock Ashigaru units of Avenging Angel, they are still firing. And um, that's good because Avenging Angel, I think he's about to lose soon. It looks quite much like that because just look at the number of units that Avenging Angel still uh, has and the number of units that Mafioso still has. And here, uh, Mafioso, quite a good idea, he sends uh, his bow samurai in front to attack those matchlock Ashigaru because they are a serious nuisance and they have to be eliminated. So those matchlock Ashigaru, they have no chance against um, against the Yari Ashi I mean the, the Bosomer and the Yarkhev, so they are gonna flee quite soon. But um, Avenging Angel sends in Crisis, is gonna send his um, Samurai and his Yari Ashigaru back um, in pursuit of those bow Samurai, but um, Mafioso manages to escape with his Yari Cav, which is still at large and uh, which is still quite strong, so now he's gonna attack those Matchlock Ashigaru, but they go bye-bye. And yeah, what what what's left? What's left? So we have one unit of I don't know what that is. I can't see it because the flag is wavering. But okay, the unit of mafioso routes. But now uh, the Yari have um, uh, the morale is seriously um, injured. So now they flee. Okay, that surprised me quite a bit. So why should that Yari have flee? They they only would have had um, a few bow warrior monks and um, a really strongly weakened unit of uh, Yari Ashigaru against them. So I was quite surprised as I uh, saw that. And yeah, um, I, I would have thought that the Yari would have beaten both of them quite easily. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the battle <laughs> from what I know. Oh my god! <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I'm I'm a bit I have a, a little cold, but nothing serious. So that was the end of the battle. Avenging Angel won with quite a bit of luck and the friendly assistance of the morale system of this uh, game. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this battle and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah, that's it. Goodbye.